Hi, I'm going to show you uh, the features of Cosmos F for the beginners especially. Cosmos F is a complicated software and I will try to show you the very basics of it. So this is my digital audio workstation Logic and I have inserted the Cosmos F Saturn plugin as an instrument and there are two ways to start Cosmos F playing. You can click on the plugin window and press the S button and stop it again by pressing on the S button. Or you can use a MIDI note, for instance the C4 here, and just play it on the logic. Okay. So this is the preset number zero. I would like to change it to the last preset here. And let's play it. What I see here are uh, two macro events cycling in parallel. So this is the concept of Cosmos F called parallel universes. So let's let's make it again just single macro event. What you see here are uh, three meso events, and inside each meso event, three micro events are distributed uniformly. So their length and onset uh, duration are equally spaced. So let's change the meso event density to five. As you see, there are five events now distributed, and or let's make it two. So they all fit in inside the circle, so since we have two meso events, the angle between them are 180 degrees. And I want to increase the micro event density and make it stochastically distributed. So around this value 5. Uh, the I applied a uniform distribution, so it can be between 0 and 5 for each uh, meso event. So I can do this the same uh, for the meso event density, and let's uh, increase the densities like that, so we have some a uh, bit more variety in the results. So the macro event length, which is the duration of this cycle, can be set with this slider in milliseconds. So now it's 2000 milliseconds, which is 2 seconds, and I can change it to any value. So let's make it faster. And I would like to change it with the stochastic function. It's now useful to mention how to set the uh, slider values easily. One way is to type it yourself. So for that you press the O button on any slider and then type the value yourself. Let's set it to 1500 milliseconds. Okay. As you see, if I move the sliders, they might be not uh, have the precision I would like to have. So for that uh, I keep holding, pressing the F button and move the slider again. As you see, the movement is much more smoother. If I would like to set the slider value to the nearest integer, I just press the R button on the keyboard and hold it. As I move the slider, the values are rounded to the nearest integer values. Okay. Uh, 
Here I can multiply the meso-event durations and micro-event durations with this scaling slider. As you see, the meso-events are now overlapping. And let's make the micro-events shorter. So all these changes are obvious also visually. So there are other stochastic functions which can control the event density distributions. And here, this section is dedicated to control the event distributions for micro and uh, meso events. So here I can choose the stochastic function and their parameters for the meso onset distribution. And this is for the duration distribution. Again, these are for the micro event distributions. So on the manual, you can find the detailed information for these distributions. And it is the best that you try all of them to understand what kind of effect they make as listening results. I would like to go back to the default values of the preset and would like to talk a bit more about the parallel universes here. <laughs> Let's change the event densities to 4 and distribute them with the uniform distribution. <laughs> what you see here is, so although these settings are the same, for both of the universes, the result can be different because the event distributions are calculated independently for each universe here. So the left one has only one meso event, but the right one has now three meso events. So, this slider here controls the time for the universes. So if I increase it, I increase the loop speed basically. So I set it back to 1. And this cycle rate value here controls the cycle rate between the universes. So if I set it to 2, this right universe will be 2 times faster than the left one. So you can achieve amazing polyrhythmic results like that. The last slider here sets the phase shift uh, between the universes. For example, if I set it to 0 0.5, the phase shift between the universes will be 180 degrees. Here I press the Z button to see this visual. And I'm changing the slider value. The time shift, uh, phase shift is zero. And now it's 360 degrees. So let's make it zero again. Crossfading between the universes. So I would like to rename my preset. So test one and export it to another slot here. So as you see, this slot is this slot became our new preset. So during this tutorial, I have talked basically about the parallel universes concept, the event distribution mechanism, choosing different event densities and stochastic distributions, uh, the macro event length operations, 
and the stochastic distribution set for the onset distribution and duration distribution for both meso events and micro events.